So, not yesterday, uh, the day before, I found a, uh, I hate to call it a gun safe, but it's a gun, locking gun cabinet, a steel locking gun cabinet, uh, on Craigslist for $45. And I uh, called the guy, told him I wanted it, <clears throat> and he's about, oh, 50 miles from me. And uh, I called him before I left. I told him about what time I'd be there. And uh, he said, okay, come on. And I got there within a couple of minutes, found the house real easy, knocked on the door, no answer. Uh, he said, well, I might be out mowing, so, uh, you know, look around if I'm in the yard. So uh, he wasn't in the front yard, so I walked down his driveway and peeked in his backyard. He wasn't back there. So I went back and knocked on his door again, no answer. So I called his cell phone, uh, no answer. So I sat in his front yard for about 40 minutes thinking, well, he knew I was on the way over here. So, uh, you know, maybe he just went to get a pack of cigarettes and come back or something. And while I was sitting in his front yard in my pickup truck, I was scanning uh, this other app called Let Go. And I found another one on Let Go, same price, same, you know, same size, same single single key. And uh, he wanted, the, anyway, I sat there 40 minutes and I ended up contacting the other guy through Let Go. And uh, he said he'd be home in about an hour and a half. So uh, that was in Bossier City. So the next town over. So I drove to that town. And I met up with him and picked this up. And uh, today, the guy who stood me up called me and apologized and asked me if I still wanted it. And I said, no, nah, no, nah, we're even. I drove over there, spent about $10 worth of gas getting to your house, and uh, yeah, I'm not coming back, so have a nice day. Anyway, what I got this for is more ammo. I'm running out of places to put things I want to keep under lock and key. And some of that is ammo and, uh, you know, other things that I just don't want to leave easily accessible to somebody should they break into my house. So uh, here's what I've done. I've gutted it. I took the little shelf that was up top out. I took the, uh, uh, the little rest that the barrels rest into and then I've gone around and drilled holes on the sides and the back and what I'm going to do is put uh, these on the back and I've got some that are going down the sides and then I've got the uh, I'm going to cut the shelves and I'm going to put four shelves in here then I'm going to take it in the house and I'm going to bolt it to my wall. And uh, I'll show you. I'm going to have to get my wife out here to hold these uh, to hold these boards in here. What I've done is draw lines on these boards. And I'm going to... Here's, here's why. These are exactly an inch and a half. I, I put them on that and made them exactly an inch and a half. And then I drew a line in the center. And I'm going to have my wife hold it on the inside until I see the line right in the center of this hole and then I'm going to put a screw through the outside and hold them in. Screw them in all the way around. And, the, and then the shelf will set on them. So let me go get my wife out here and see if she can help me. Thank you for your help. Do you need me? I don't. Now I'm going to cut my shelves. Uh, rip them on my... Uh, Table saw. All right, yeah, we're getting there. Well, you're not gonna do. All right. I'm probably not gonna mount this today. I've, I've got the rest of my yard to mow. And, uh,. Tomorrow, I gotta take my wife to a sewing machine repair place because uh, one of her machines is out of time and I don't know how to time it. And uh, so, tomorrow, 
let's see, probably going to be Saturday before I could get this. Oh, who knows? I may be able to do this tonight after I mow the yard, take a shower. I'll, I'll cut everything and uh, bring my tools inside. That's what I'll do. I'm going to stop now and uh, mow. And then uh, this evening I'll mount this to the wall. Okay, I lied. I was so close to being done, I just decided to go ahead and bring it in. So uh, let me show you what I've done back here. I've bolted, screwed, all the 2x4s to the studs in my wall. And now I'm going to screw the safe into those braces, those them blocks there. far enough away from the door over here yeah actually I want to come on just a tad more alrighty Alright, you get the idea. I got uh, two more up underneath this one. And the work we're good to go. I don't have to turn my house down to get to it. Actually, no, but uh, I'm just putting ammo. See, I got ammo up top of that one. I got loose ammo in here. Uh, I just have things that I don't want laying around. And, uh, you know, it's just one little, one little old key. And, you know, it's be simple to get into, but... Uh, it just keeps it out of sight. Out of sight and uh, not something somebody can just snatch and run with. Thanks for watching, y'all. Good morning, everybody. Three o'clock. Couldn't sleep anymore. Had to get up. That is a hell of a cup right there. Holy crap. That's good coffee. My buddy John sent this to me. Buzz, buzz the end. That is a Yeti 32 ounce mug. And, uh, that, what an awesome handle that is, man. That's paracord. Beautiful. And you can get one of these by going to John's website. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks, John. That's going to be my new favorite coffee cup. You think you might get up today? We're all up. We're up drinking coffee. You don't think you're going to get up? It's Lucy, stop. Baby, stop. You're getting your look at my face. Stop it, Lucy. Stop. Jeez. Sonny, you sleeping in? We're all up. We're all up drinking coffee, watching the news. Come on, get up. Jeez, you're lazy. <laughs>